All right, so today I'm in my friend Dalton's Mazda Speed 3. Um, basically what's done to it is stage three bolt-ons, like everything, it's got a fuel pump, cob access port, um, and a ton of like exterior mods. It looks super awesome. This paint color, it shines like super sick in the sunlight. I thought it was, um, I thought it was a wrap when I first saw it. I didn't think it was a stock color, but yeah. So from what I'm hearing, the clutch is pretty tricky, so I might stall it. I hope I don't, that'll be embarrassing, but um, he's looking at me right now. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to drive this thing. From what I hear, it's a lot of fun, so I'm excited. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, this thing, it's on coilovers right now, and its it doesn't rub on everything, but it'll scrape and rub on certain stuff, so I'm gonna have to kind of be careful driving around right now. But it sounds awesome. He's got this nice mirror right here that gives you a wide angle of everything going on around you. Um, yeah, so we're on this really, really, really bumpy like back road right now, and it's handling it just fine. Um, yeah, not bad at all. This road is awful. Once we get onto this other road, it should be a lot better. Handling-wise, the steering's pretty, pretty tight. I like it. Has a good feel to it. The clutch. It's not as bad as I thought it would be from what my friends were telling me. The shifter, super easy, pretty notchy, like you know when you're in gear. Neutral's a little loose, but it's not bad. Wow, that's fun. Nothing beats the sensation of boost, it's awesome. Yeah, this is definitely a fun car though. I can already tell it's gonna be a lot of fun to drive. Like I said, this is definitely not a stock Mazda Speed 3 by any means. It's got a ton done to it. Um, performs well, it looks great. So this is like the whole package right here. This is, if I had a Speed 3, this is probably what I'd do to it. Especially with this new wheel and tire setup that he has on here, it looks awesome. And earlier, back there, I barely got into boost and it was, it felt pretty quick. And you could probably see it threw me back when I let out of it, it kind of put me forward a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's, it's loads of fun. You do have a little bit of torque steer, like I said, and it kind of pulls you from side to side, but overall the steering is really nice on it. He did tell me when he drove to Memphis, um, I guess it was yesterday maybe, that it was just hitting bumps, it would scrape on the highway like every single time. And I can definitely see how that would happen, but just driving it right now, it, it's totally fine on this road. I mean, bumps, when you hit them, there's not many on this road, but you definitely feel them, but it's not super harsh. I've definitely been in cars where it feels worse than this one. The exhaust is a really good sound. It's not too loud or anything. I think it's just right. There's a little bit of drone right now. I'm in fifth gear, and I can I can feel a little bit of, or hear a little bit of drone rather. But um, yeah, it's not too bad. He does have everything gutted in the back, so like carpet is gone, no seats. Um, it's got everything gutted interior, weight reduction. It's got the uh, motor mods for performance, and then it has the look factor as well. So this is kind of like a whole package kind of car. And like I said, just driving it, the sensation of boost, I haven't even had to put the pedal down really to have a lot of fun in this car. I love having the access port there. It's really nice. Um, you can see like everything going on with the car. You also have the like stock boost gauge in between the gauges right here, which is nice. It's kind of hard to see since it's small and just like a little black and white display, but it's not bad. I like the positioning of the gauges. It's nothing more than you need. It's all right there in front of you. The tack on the left, speedometer on the right. And then you have your display up top that tells you your fuel economy. Like right now I'm getting 39 miles to the gallon. Like that's really good. And then you also have your uh, climate controls up top as well. All the infotainment stuff is right here laid out. Um, really easy to keep track of. One thing that is interesting is a shift knob. You probably can't, yeah, you definitely can't see it in the video. I don't even know how to describe this thing. I'll have to take a shot of it from the outside, but it's pretty crazy. Visibility in this thing is awesome. Uh, there's not really any blind spots since it's a hatchback. Um, and then you also have this mirror, like I was talking about, that is super functional and you can see like everything going on around you. So that's really nice. Downshifting is really easy. Really easy. Brakes are pretty good. Not bad. 
bad. Once you get used to the clutch, it's not bad at all. It's pretty easy to drive. Barely putting my foot down, and it's just like, there really isn't like a ton of lag. There's a little bit, as with any turbo car, but um, it's really not bad at all. It's, <laughs> this thing's so fun. Man, I love this thing. For a long time, I was thinking about selling my car and getting like the Focus ST or something like this. I really like hatchbacks. It's like a perfect mix of performance, looks, and practicality. Like my car, the Mustang, it's not very practical at all. The trunk isn't bad, but you can fit more in cars like this for sure. Also, the back seat space is 10 times better in one of these than my car. I mean, the Mustang isn't bad if you're sitting in the back seat as long as you don't have legs. I love that blow off sound. I hope you can hear that. Just about every gear, there's plenty of power. You just put your foot in it a little bit, wait for it to spool up, and then you take off. It's so much fun. Man. 43,000 miles on it. So Dalton has this car, and he's got a Yamaha R6, so he's got a pretty fun lineup for himself. All right, coming to a stop here. Like I said, the brakes. They're not anything insane, but they easily do the job. I like the interior of these. It's a lot nicer than I was expecting. These seats are really nice too. The bolstering really holds you in there. Um, for me, I'm pretty skinny, so it's just about perfect for me. For someone that's a little bit wider than I am, it might be a little, little tight of a squeeze, but it's not bad at all. You really have like a high seating position in this. Um, I don't know, I, I like it a lot. I feel like I'm sort of above the pedals, if that makes sense. to be where we're going and I've had a ton of fun in this car I can't thank Dalton enough for letting me drive it um, this thing's sick it's a ton of fun this is probably I mean the Terminator Cobra is pretty fun but this is just like a different sensation you know what I mean it, it, the sensation of boost building and then you getting catapulted forward is something that you can't really compare to anything else it's amazing Definitely a little bit of drone, especially without all the sound deadening type stuff like the seats and the carpet back there. Man, now I really want something with turbo. Or boost, I guess. Maybe I should twin turbo my car in the future, who knows? They make pretty good power. This thing has been so much fun. Like, oh man. I wish I got to drive it longer, I really do. This thing is amazing. This is a speed three done right, in my opinion. It gets a ton of looks. Just like at, sitting at this intersection, there's people looking at me. It breaks next, man. I kind of like the shifter. Since it's up so high, you really get a good, like, it's really easy to get into gear. There's a good feel with it. It's unique looking, too. But yeah, this thing's been a ton of fun. I think I've said fun probably like 10 times. So you get the idea. That was fun. <laughs>